so let us start another toxicant another poisoning phosphorus poisoning the regarding phosphorus is concerned the phosphorus is universally distributed in soil as well as in plants phosphorus along with calcium both are participating in production and maintenance of teeth and bones other salient feature of the phosphorus usually it has been found the toxicity with the poisoning with phosphorus is very less in occurrence and if you are going to consider which one toxicant of the phosphorus is more poisonous then yellow that is also known as white phosphorus are toxic however the another phosphorus red phosphorus is non toxic so yellow or white phosphorus is important as because this is going to cause the phosphorus poisoning so now we have to move to the property of properties of phosphorus poisoning regarding phosphorus is concerned phosphorus toxicity is concerned in organic phosphorus it exists in three allotropes white or that is also known as yellow phosphorus also known as crystalline phosphorus the another one is the red phosphorus also known as amorphous phosphorus and the last one allotropes of phosphorus is black phosphorus but in many places you will find only these two white and red phosphorus if you are go, going to compare the toxicity concerned to these two types the white or yellow phosphorus or crystalline phosphorus is responsible for the poisoning or toxicity however red phosphorus or amorphous phosphorus is non toxic the other important property the of phosphorus have particularly the white or yellow is oil soluble so if any element any compound that is lipid soluble oil soluble are more dangerous in toxicity because it has to absorb more amount more bioavailability so if it is available more then toxicity is more other property with the phosphorus yellow one going to give a garlic flavor this is also a clinical sign very important clinical sign to recognize to diagnose the phosphorus toxicity and when this yellow phosphorus or white phosphorus come in contact with light they become yellow in color means ki when white came in contact with the light this become converted into yellow phosphorus and when these two are going to expose to oxidation then it get converted into red phosphorus which is non toxic in nature and that we are not going to consider more about the red phosphorus yellow phosphorus is highly toxic why because of lipid solubility bioavailability and you will find this is present in chemical industry that are working for fire work in fertilizer in also disin uh, uh, rodent side so this yellow phosphorus is used in chemical industry like fire works gun gun powders manufacturer fertilizers rodent side and incendiary ammunition industry regarding the red phosphorus uh, industry is concerned the red phosphorus usually you have to see used for the manufacturing of match box 
and you also seen the red head of the uh, stick match stick is red phosphorus and that is going to give the uh, burning of the stick of the match match box and the friction surface of match box is also red in color is indicating is made up of red for phosphorus so this is about the property of the phosphorus now we have to go from where the source the toxicity the poisoning in the animal will occur or in human being occur so sources are as we al already mentioned the factories like the working in the fireworks the gunpowder then also the fertilizer factory because they are going to provide the phosphor fertilizers so for phosphor for fertilizer factory is also having the phosphorus then match stick and industrial chemical and uh, they these all factory where the phosphorus work is going on where the phosphorus utilization is going on they all contaminate the environment and therefore thus lead to the poisoning phosphorus poisoning or phosphorus toxicity we already discuss about the phosphorus as a rodenticide and when the animal is going to eat as a bait bait when the animal is going to eat then this is going to create the uh, phosphorus poisoning or anyway ingestion of the poisoned animals means ki, uh, the rat if the dog is going to eat the poisoned uh, uh, poisoned one then the chances of the toxicity phosphorus toxicity will occur in the dog regarding phosphor phosphor fertilizer is concerned the phosphate fertilizer when the animal take it the farm and animal is going to take it then the toxicity of phosphorus will occur other example of sources are wheat bran wheat bran are very much resource resource of phosphorus and low content of the calcium so therefore when an animal like horses is going to take more amount of wheat bran then this is going to produce the more load of phosphorus then the chances of bran disease occur in the horse because of the high content of phosphorus in the wheat bran and low calcium is there when you are going to consider the dog when they are taking much more amount of meat so meat is also the same with the wheat bran a rich source in phosphorus low in calcium so when the dog is going to take more amount of meat then phosphor is more in the animal which we known uh, we, we called it hyperphosphatemia in dog so meat eating by the dog in very large quantity is going to produce hyperphosphatemia in dog so these are the sources of toxicity for the phosphate now we have to go through the toxicity so as we earlier already discussed the red phosphorus is non toxic because this is the oxidized one however the white or yellow phosphorus is highly toxic in nature and if you are going to consider the acute oral dose that is ld50 acute oral ld50 or median lethal dose of yellow phosphorus which come about 2 mg per kg body weight for the species like dog now we have to go through the other point that is the toxicokinetic that is going to discuss about the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion of the toxicant phosphorus so white phosphorus we again repeated here that is a lipid soluble so that when in get ingested absorb more and also through dermal exposure it get also absorb and it will raise or it will give more bioavailability and therefore toxicity of phosphorus will occur and the main route of excretion of phosphorus is as compared to other 
metals or non metal the main root of excretion there is also the urine likewise phosphorus the main root of excretion of the phosphorus in the poisoned animal is urine and also the expired air other root when the uh, phosphorus is going to be expired from the lungs then this is going to give a very characteristic smell that is called phosphorus smell or garlic like smell and this is you can say a clinical diagnostic sign to diagnose the phosphorus poisoning in the animal so this is about the toxicokinetic of the phosphorus now we have to go through the mechanism of toxicity or toxicodynamic so first the question is arises how to you have to recall so you have to recall with the match uh, stick so match stick you have seen the red phosphorus is going to burn and this is that is from that point you have to recall that the phosphorus is corrosive in nature and very strong irritant and because of this irritant property and corrosive nature of phosphorus this is going to produce necrosis or necrotizing effect where it will reach if it is in the gi tract this is going to necrotize the gi tract or stomach mucosa so because of the irritation corrosiveness and necrotizing effect on the gi mucosa this is going to produce severe gi mucosa irritation and because of gi mucosa gastrointestinal tract mucosa irritation this we call gastroenteritis so when there is gastroenteritis occur it will lead to diarrhea as well as vomiting so this is very very important uh, toxic mechanism of toxicity of phosphorus other phosphorus toxic uh, mechanism of toxicity is phosphorus is a protoplasmic poison so when any one element is protoplasmic poison or cytoplasm poison it is going to produce cellular oxidation and because of the protoplasmic poison and cellular oxidation finally it will produce the necrosis of the different organs like liver so liver is important because liver is the more main detoxifying organ of the body and you can say anything that is going through the, uh, the pass out through from the body it will reach to the liver so it this is going to produce the necrotizing effect on the liver and as well as the other organ like the kidney the phosphate as we uh, mentioned that this is going to produce the oxidation and when the phosphorus get oxidized to form phosphate the phosphate is going to produce the hepatic necrosis that we already discuss is a protoplasmic poison and because of this property the phosphorus is having direct cardiotoxic effect and because of direct cardiotoxic effect because of protoplasmic poison because of the cellular oxidation because of the conversion to phosphate this is going to produce the direct cardiotoxic effect and therefore this is going to produce the cardiovascular collapse so this is very very interesting and important about the mechanism of toxicity or toxicodynamics of the phosphorus next is when yellow or white phosphorus come in contact with the skin then this is going to produce the dermal exposure and because of its irritant property because of its uh, necrotic property because of its corrosive nature this is going to produce burn of the skin burning of skin is about second to third degree of burn produced over the skin and the area where the burn will occur because of the phosphorus usually cure delay cure in delay so 
curing is delayed so this is very very important so when this is going to produce irritation corrosiveness this is going to produce the painful effect because of the burning property uh, due to the phosphorus so this is all about the mechanism of toxicity concerned to the phosphorus now we have to go through the clinical sign so clinical sign uh, concerned to the phosphorus is two type the phosphorus is going to produce acute toxicity and chronic toxicity so when you are going to consider the acute toxicity uh, concerned to the phosphorus that is divided into two part that is because of the ingestion of the phosphorus and the second is because of the exposure over the skin with the phosphorus so dermal exposure or ingestion exposure so first we have to go through the ingestion exposure so when the animal get uh, exposed after the ingestion of the phosphorus the phosphorus will come in the gi tract and when it come in the gi tract gi irritation uh, occur because of its corrosiveness pro property and because of this irritation the abdominal pain or you can say the colic occur and because of pain and colic this is going to produce the diarrhea and profuse vomition so profuse vomition and profuse diarrhea associated with the phosphorus is because of the irritant property of this one phosphorus and profuse diarrhea is also often along coming along with hemorrhagic so hemorrhagic diarrhea is there and if you uh, spell the breath you will find the garlic order so this is a very important clinical sign if you will get, get from the phosphorus uh, poisoning after that you will get a short period of recovery that we call is apparent recovery in the toxic animals a poisoned animal after the recovery again the symptom repeated the same type that is the abdominal pain that is the vomition and because it get absorbed it will also affect the liver so when the liver is affected it will give rise the jaundice and this jaundice later on give rise to profound dip profound depression shock coma and de death and the major affective organ is the liver and because of its necrosis of the liver due to the phosphorus this is going to produce massive hepatic failure and finally lead to con convulsions and death so this is about the uh, the, the uh, because of the ingestion of this phosphorus if you uh, see the pig symptom you will found also the same profuse vomition and if you found the vomition you you will find because the phosphorus is luminous in nature luminous in presence of light so dark luminous is there uh, along with characteristic garlic order you will find if you will see the horses and poultry you will find paralytic like weakness because of the phosphorus poisoning occur now we have to go through the dermal exposure of the phosphorus particularly yellow or white phosphorus that we already discussed earlier regarding dermal exposure of phosphorus is concerned when it come in contact with the skin because of its irritant and corrosive nature it burns the area and the burning is about second and third degree of the burn and because of the burning of course this is going to produce the painful and as we earlier told this healing of the phosphorus wound is slow so this is very very important and the area where the skin get burned they also get necrotized and because of this phosphorus it comes in contact with the light give rise to yellow, yellow in color and when you smell it you will find garlic like smell and 
if the amount of phosphorus is more there then the chances of absorption occur because of its lipophilic in nature and therefore it may lead to mortality or death of the animal now we have to go through the toxicity second part that is the chronic toxicity and chronic toxicity is uh, very very important because because this is going to give rise a very very important type of property and you can say we termed it we call it fossy jaw and mandible necrosis so the name mandible necrosis and fossy jaw is indicating necrosis of the jaw so when the jaw is get necrosed how the teeth is going to intact there so when the fossy jaw occur, when the mandibular necrosis occur, then it will lead to toothache as well as the extraction of the teeth occur. And this is because of this, the animal are not able to eat properly and animal will not eat diet and die because of the debility. If you uh, see the socket, socket that is where the, uh, this teeth is uh, pierced, then you will find the socket is unable to heal and a very offensive discharge you will find from there and bone is also get exposed and also uh, you, uh, there you will find the necrosis with sequestrum formation occur there. So this chronic toxicity associated with phosphorus is very very important because this is going to produce a very good diagnostic feature and we call it the fossy jaw or mandibular necrosis and this is about the toxicity concern to the phosphorus. Now we have to go through the post-mortem post findings or PM findings. So in PM findings, you have to see the lesions. So in lesion, because of its uh, ingestion, you will find the lesion in the GI tract. And what are the type you will find the lesions there? You Because of the irritation, Enteritis is there, so you will find severe gastroenteritis is there. And because it will affect the necrosis of the liver, so this is going to produce the fatty degeneration of liver, not only liver, other organs and also muscle and endothelium of blood vessels. And simultaneously you will find because of corrosive nature, multiple hemorrhage and blood is coming out and blood is unable to clot in the phosphorus poisoning. So this is very very important and because the major affected organ is liver, so you will found the liver get enlarged, pale in color and or you can say yellow in color. Spleen is atrophied, small and carcass become uh, phosphorescent or luminous because of the phosphorus is showing the luminous property, phosphorescence property. So this is also a diagnostic type of feature in phosphorus poisoning. If you see the gastric content and smell it, then you will find the garlic odor is there. Garlic odor and you will find the renal damage, severe hep hepatitis. So these are the postmortem post-mortem lesion you will find or PM lesion you will find. Regarding diagnosis is concerned, so diagnosis of similar to other toxicant based upon the history, based upon the sign, based upon the lesions and in case of phosphorus you will find a specific odor or uh, smell that is the garlic uh, smell and the luminescence, the phosphorescent of the breathe, vomitus and stomach contents you will find because of the presence of phosphorus, because of its luminous property and this because the major affected organ is the liver, so you will find the liver enzyme as well as the bilirubin get elevated, so this is a characteristic diagnostic feature and vomitus is very very important for analysis of phosphorus poisoning. Now we have to go through the last 
last one that is the treatment and management so regarding treatment and management of the uh, this one is concerned phosphorus poisoning is concerned no specific antidote for phosphorus is there so we have to treat the animals with supportive therapy supportive treatment along with the detoxification process so because the so we have to go through the uh, supportive and detoxification uh, detoxification therapy of phosphorus poisoning so when the phosphorus come in the gi tract or in oral absorption and it has the property of corrosiveness irritant in nature so because of corrosiveness and irritant in nature usually we are not going to give the emetics because this is uh, going to more chances to uh, produce more corrosion where the phosphorus will spread so usually for this in case of oral ingestion toxicity of phosphorus we have to go through the ga gastric lavage so lavage is simply a body cavity washing so gastric lavage means ki gi tract washing so gi tract washing in this case we are going to insert the tube and in that uh, tube containing the solution of potassium permanganate or 0.2 percent of copper sulfate so you have to perform the gastric lavage or the body cavity washing uh, with the potassium permanganate or 0.2 percent copper sulfate in this we are not going to prefer to go give the emetics because of the corrosive nature of the phosphorus so when you are going to give the emetics then it will spread out through up to the mouth and where it should spread this is going to produce the corrosiveness corrosiveness at the area now we have to give the oil which type of oil we are going to give mineral oil and which type non absorbable oil because when you are giving the oil which is uh, uh, absorbable so phosphorus is get uh, get solubilized in the oil and later on it get absorbed and when it get absorbed the phosphorus bioavailability get more so more toxicity is there so therefore absorbable oil administration is contraindicated in phosphorus poisoning and we are going to give the mineral oil which is non absorbable because non absorbable mineral oil is going to absorb the uh, phosphorus so solubilize the phosphorus and therefore it prevent the further absorption of the uh, phosphorus and now we have to give some more compound to absorb and evacuate it for that we have to give activated charcoal so what is the property of this activated charcoal activated charcoal is going to act as a adsorbent so this adsorbent is going to adsorb the toxicant and simultaneously we are going to give the purgative so the adsorb material present in the gi tract should be evacuated by purgative or cathartic or luxative so for that we are either giving the sorbitol or saline purgative and this is going to be removed out from the gi tract now along with that other supportive treatment are diet high in cysteine carbohydrate and low in fat we are going to provide because if the fat is more the liver is here is compromised so liver digestion will impair and it will give the load over the liver therefore the diet high in cysteine ascorbic acid with uh, carbohydrate with low fat we are going to give to combat the liver damage and also we have to give vitamin b b and as vitamin c that is ascorbic acid because it will reduce the severity of uh, liver damage 
in case of hypoprothrombinemia and hemorrhage so if hem hemorrhage is there is, then we have to give the anticoagulant like vitamin k1 so hypoprothrombinemia and hemorrhage to check the bleeding we have to treat with the anticoagulant by, like the vitamin k K, co, uh, sorry, coagulant like uh, vitamin K. So, vitamin K1 is the coagulant. So, we are going to give the coagulant to check the hemorrhage. So, they, if uh, this uh, blood loss is more, then we have to transfuse the blood or plasma to the animal. And in last, if the animal is dehydrated, uh, then we have to go through the fluid therapy. Or if the animal is hypotensive, then you have to go through the fluid therapy. So this is all about the uh, toxic end that we uh, finished from my part. That's all.